Hey guys, it is Nikki, and you can follow me on Instagram at I am Nikki King. Today's video is going to hopefully be a helpful tip video about how to increase your odds to hopefully get a blue check mark on Instagram if this is something that you're going crazy and trying to do. And so now, let me tell you what happens when you get this blue check mark. Well, so the morning that I woke up and I got the blue check mark, I had a date with Chris Hemsworth. I actually didn't even know, like people were like, oh, congrats on the blue check mark. And I, I had no idea. Instagram did verify my account the normal way. Um, literally like one day I woke up and my account was verified. These are some reasons why I think my account was verified. To increase your odds in getting verified on Instagram, you need several things. Number one, you need press. You need press that's written about you that has a nice subject line with your name in it. Um, not from Joe Smo's magazine or a high school paper. You need something that was actually published. Um, yes. So press, particularly something with your name in the subject line, an article actually written about you from a good publication. Well, define good publication, but you know what I mean. Um, not from a blog, <laughs> let's just say that. So, and then the number two thing that I think you need is I don't think it hurts to have followers. I think that you're probably more likely to get a blue check mark if you have at least 10,000 followers or more. I do know that there are people on Instagram who do get follow, um, who do get verified, who have less than 10,000 followers. These typically are, you know, real famous people who have a reason because really you don't need to be verified and unless it's like a security issue but a lot of these people are like older time actors or you know legitimate celebrities that may have not ever jumped on the Instagram train or you know have other reasons for not really having a large following so following isn't everything but I don't think that it hurts the third thing that I think you need is high engagement. You don't, no, nobody should be buying Instagram followers. It doesn't look good. People can tell that you have a account that's bought. Don't do that. Um, you want an account, you want people who follow you to be really engaged. You want to look at the comment, comment section and see real engagement not just a bunch of emojis, people who actually, if you ask them a question, they're like, you know, what's your favorite color? Oh, they're writing purple, they're writing, they're actually answering your question in the comment box. So that is the third thing, have real followers. Don't buy followers. And then the fourth thing that I would say, and it's not really something that you can craft or you shouldn't craft it. They're, they're not dumb. Don't just start a bunch of fake accounts that are people impersonating you. But I don't think it hurt that sometimes I would have people trying to impersonate me. And so I do think that Instagram probably took that into account when they did verify my account just because there was a real security issue there. If you're trying to be verified, do not change your Instagram name all the time. Do not change your Instagram profile all the time. Instagram is on the alert for people who sell their accounts, that sort of thing. And so the longer the history that you have with a certain name, like even if you don't really like your name, it's better for verification, I think, to consistently have that name there. Don't make any changes. Don't make it seem like there, it might be some sort of fraudulent account. So we got, so we got press. We got followers don't hurt. We got real followers, not robots. Nobody wants 
nobody cares about robots. And we got fake accounts. Don't hurt, you can't craft that though. And then we've got keep your info the same. Don't be swapping it around everywhere or anything like that. In addition, branding. Let's talk about branding. I have worked in branding for, I would argue, 10 years. I got my start in film, in storytelling. I like to root everything in story. And so if you take this story idea and you apply it to social media, it makes a lot of sense. Your Instagram account, your YouTube account, this is a character. This is a show. So this is my theory on how to quickly grow an Instagram account. It is, I think, what helped my Instagram account grow. Um, it is not a method that I'm <laughs> applying right now because look, if you notice, all of my content so far is, seems very random. But if you did want to do this, it's all about finding a niche. It's all about giving people content that they expect from you. So what does that mean? Before I open my mouth, everybody has an opinion of someone, right? Everybody has an opinion. You, like as an exercise, we can all type in what you guys think of me even before I open my mouth or also while I'm opening my mouth. So back in the day, I feel like, you know, when people see me, they like might think like cheerleader, like surfer girl, Cali girl, um, mean girl, pop, like party girl, party girl. Um, they, you, people automatically are, are most of the time just going to judge people. So what happens with that? Some of these things, some of these stereotypes or some of these things about my personality that you might assume, they, they might actually be real. I like to have fun. I like to do silly things. Some of these, but some of these things about me, they're not wrong. So if you kind of dissect your personality down to certain categories that make sense to people who might not know you and they like it's something that they might assume about you and you kind of just lean into that and only show yourself as that aspect of your personality that my friend in my opinion is how you can quickly grow a following because you're giving every piece of content that you're putting out there is the same idea of the same thing that makes sense with your image, image crafting, image crafting. Now, I think that you should be yourself and I think that it's too difficult. I think if, if I was just one piece of my, like one aspect of myself, I'm not totally being genuine to my entire thing. I'm not being disingenuine. I'm just only showing the world one aspect. That is why social media makes people feel bad. People aren't on social media when their boyfriend broke up with them. They're not on social media when they don't have enough money to pay rent. They're not on social media. A lot of the time you might be posting pictures of you doing something that was, you did that like four years ago. It's not authentic. I personally would prefer an army of you guys to go out there and and want to be more authentic. But if you do want to grow a following, I think that it doesn't hurt to amplify the pieces of your personality that people already assume about you. Now, don't lie if people assume you're, I don't know, like a a criminal like don't now <laughs> start being a criminal and and start doing criminal activity don't do that but if 
you know, your character. Be a character. Like, don't be a character, but you know what I'm trying to say. You can amplify the more... You can, it is possible on social media to show only one side of yourself and that idea is easier for someone, a fan, to latch onto than being a whole bunch of stuff. Now again, I'm not saying, this is just advice if you want to grow your following. This is not, this is not how I personally feel. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I'm going to go, and you guys have a great day. Um, if you like what you're, what you're seeing, hit subscribe. I will be doing an array of content. Please let me know what you want to see from me. I will always be keeping it real. And you can always follow me on Instagram at I am Nikki King. I just punched the table. But, yeah, over and out. Over and out.